In this video, we will see the footprint assignment tool. From the top toolbar, click on this run footprint assignment tool. You will now notice that a new window opens up. Okay, so what it shows. This window has three segments on the left side, this part. This is the footprint libraries. In the middle, we have the symbols or the footprint assignment which we have to do. This all symbols, uh, all of the symbols have uh, we have used in our schematic. We need to assign a uh, footprint to these uh, symbols. And the last at the right, we have the filtered footprint. So if you select this batteries or uh, if you select this capacitor, so it will show this filtered footprint. But in filter footprint, we have three options. On the top toolbar, if you see, we have this option of footprint filter. Okay, the left leftmost which you see button activates the uh, uh, filter that can be uh, defined in its symbol. Uh, the middle one is like a button filter by pin count. Uh, as well, for example, the CH340IC has 16 pin, so it will filter a uh, search by this pin count. And the right button is uh, it's like to select the library and the right button filters by selected library now you can start assigning footprint for each symbol but I'll, i would like to show you something like in the file we have this save to uh, schematic um, which uh, if you change the footprint and then uh, you need to say click on the save to schematic and also we have the option at the bottom right apply save schematic and continue in the file we have the second option close in edit we have undo redo cut copy and paste which are the basics in preference we have configure path second is manage footprint library then we have preference uh, this is the help but uh, we will use this um, uh, view the selected footprint in footprint viewer uh, this is important uh, we will have a look at this. For example, if you have to assign a component uh, footprint for this uh, C1 capacitor as 0.1 microfarad as 0 and 0 0.05 capacitor. So, from the left, from the footprint library, go in this SMD capacitor. Now you need to go to this right. Filtered footprint. I need a 0 and 0 0.05 capacitor. You need to click on this and you need to click on this view selected footprint in the footprint viewer. What it shows this is the footprint. Okay. Now you can how to measure this um, um, dimension of this 0805 capacitor. Uh, in 0805 it is like a fixed. But uh, there are some component where you need to measure the dimension. So this is the tool where, where you can do that. Okay. You can even have a 3D uh, view of this selected footprint. Show 3D viewer window. You can also do Alt plus T. It will show the selected footprint. Now this is the 3D model of that capacitor. Okay, so you can just left click from the mouse and you can rotate this. Okay, just close this two windows. And just double click on this uh, selected footprint so that you can assign them to this 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Double click. Now next is the 47 microfarad capacitor. Uh, it is an electrolytic capacitor. Uh, you can notice if I select this. Uh, so this capacitor SMD. Uh, I need 6.3 cross 5.4 as the dimension. So this is the uh, footprint for that uh, selected uh, capacitor. I can assign this uh, footprint by just double clicking on this. And you can also view the selected footprint. Just uh, left click from the mouse and just right click and you will get a list of option like view selected footprint. Just uh, click on this. Okay, it's close. What other option we have is the cut, copy, paste, and delete association. Uh, what will delete association do? 
if you if for suppose uh, if you have selected a wrong footprint so what it, uh, what it will do is just delete this uh, selected footprint you can again go and assign a new footprint okay so the 4.7 microfarad is also the same dimension of uh, 1 microfarad capacitor is 0805 package same to this and this is 47 microfarad capacitor point 1 is also 0805 all of the capacitor used in this schematic i have used it like a 0805 package um, because like it's easy to solder and it can make the pcb compact So in the case of diode, uh, you need to go to the uh, footprint libraries. Um, in that, go to diode. This is uh, arranged uh, according to the alphabetical order, like C for connector, C for crystal, then we have diode, SMD, then E, F, like so on. So come to this diode SMD and you can deselect this. Uh, I need a S SMD, SOD, 1, 2, 3 package. Yeah, this one. You can double click on this uh, like 0603 package so come to this uh, led smd scroll down and come to this led smd and in that you can uh, go for this 0603 package this is how it will look like okay just as uh, assign this and the same for the diode okay in the case of connector uh, you can open the schematic and if you notice this connector is highlighted which we have selected in this assignment tool for example this connector one cross file uh, if you go into schematic then the selected uh, connector or the selected component will be highlighted it is uh, same in all, uh, all other case like this 22 picofarad if you select in this and if you go back and if you notice this is selected so it is easier for us to work on this uh, so to connector we need pin headers So connector pin headers. It is one cross four vertical. Yeah, this is what we need. Make sure that the, uh, uh, the spacing is like two point five four mm. Same in the case of uh, one cross five. And one cross seven. Uh, for the barrel jack, uh, you need to go to the uh, barrel jack connector. Barrel jack underscore connector. Connector underscore barrel jack. Okay. Uh, so in that, and this you need to select this horizontal. So this is a footprint for that uh, barrel jack. Uh, if you notice this does not have a 3d model so um, you can do this 3d model it's not a difficult you can search for the 3d model online and just upload it I can assign this for footprint of barrel jack now um, the symbol 26 which is connector to cross 3 so you can go to this uh, schematic and see which is that particular connector that is the uh, ICSP headers to cross three. This is also a foot, uh, I mean, pin header to cross three vertical. Just double click on this. Now uh, we need USB mini. So you need to go to this connector underscore USB. So all of the connectors are like uh, you can get it in the connector section. And after that you have this underscore and the particular 
uh, connector like the USB or the wire. Okay, so uh, in this you need uh, USB mini. Uh, it has the, also has the option for micro, but you need this mini. Yeah, this one. Pay attention to which uh, footprint I am selecting and then uh, assign them. Okay. So all of this uh, register uh, 1K and 1 uh, mega ohms are 0805 package, but you need to go to that particular footprint first of register. And I will assign all of these 0805 packages. So for the switch, you need to go to the switch section. Uh, come to this button switch SMD. Oh, sorry, through all. We will use the through all one. And select this 6mm. You can assign the 6mm. Now uh, the Atmega 328V microcontroller. Okay, so we need a package um, QFP. In that, you uh, select the TQFP package. Okay. Just double click on this. For the AMS 3117, um, same, uh, you need to go to the package. And uh, select this uh, TOSOT SMD uh, double two three. You can also view the selected footprint. Okay, now we are left with this crystal part. Go to this crystal. Uh, we need a through hole crystal. Yeah, this one. This correct. Yeah, just assign this to both of the crystal, and we are almost done with all of our component or the symbols used in a schematic and we have applied the uh, footprint to this particular uh, symbols. Now you just need to save this, go to the file and save to schematic. Also you can do this apply save schematic and continue. So you will notice a, at the bottom uh, library location this folder uh, there is a pre dot pretty file created. Okay, So this uh, we have completed with the footprint assignment. Uh, just click on this uh, OK button. Uh, hope you have understood this session. Uh, thank you.